This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by RidleyReport.Podomatic.com We're here with the organizer of this big event, Amanda. Thanks for uh, organizing this and getting it going. Could you tell us how you got the idea real quick? and? Uh, I know it's a big long story, but uh, you can shorten it. Okay, to, uh, I'm, I'm a free stater, I'm from Dallas, and my dad is a huge Tony Robbins fan, and that's a motivational speaker guy. And Tony Robbins had the idea of a basket brigade. Um, basically, you fill a basket with Thanksgiving dinner, and you deliver it to a needy family. And my dad was inspired by Tony Robbins' suggestion to do a basket brigade, and he started his own basket, basket brigade. He did it for over 10 years. Um, in Dallas, I think he ended up reaching, he got, he started with just one basket in the first year and got to probably like 300 baskets before he died very suddenly in April. And so, um, after my dad died, I knew Thanksgiving was coming up and was kind of thinking about the basket brigade and decided I wanted to do my own. And, um, then it occurred to me, I'm a free stater, so I know hundreds of people all over the state that support private charity and are looking looking for good activism to do. So I put a thing up on Facebook and got a lot of positive response right away. Then um, when the addresses started rolling in from the agencies that I contacted, the, the, some more private charities that do they, like a food bank sort of thing, they got addresses from people that came in. People signed up for these baskets. So when those addresses started rolling in, I posted on Facebook about the results and how many families. Initially it was 24 families. And then the donations um, to the Chippin page that we'd started just like exploded. They came out of nowhere. We ended up raising over $1,000. I actually had to call the agency and ask for more addresses. And we ended up delivering Thanksgiving dinners to 52 homes. Awesome. Uh, over 170 people total. Wow. Many of them are refugees. Uh, a little over half of all the homes were re those refugees from Bhutan. And they were thrown out of their home country a few years ago because of their religion and language and ethnicity and all of their property was taken from them so they came here with nothing. We didn't actually give them Thanksgiving dinners, the traditional Thanksgiving dinner, because they're Hindu and they're vegetarian. So we gave them baskets with lentils and ba what's it? basmati rice. So you want to see what's good. in the bags? Sure, let's see so, uh, a sample. Um, We've got two more to deliver. We already gave away all the vegetarian bags so I can't tell you what's in those. Um, but so we got some cool pans for only a dollar at the dollar store. Um, eggs, a giant turkey, um, instructions on how to roast a turkey. Very simple. Um, all of the things that it says you need are in the bag. So nothing too crazy. Foil and a pan are in every bag. They've got butter, eggs, stuffing, um, brownie mix, um, a pumpkin pie, some granola bars. Um, lots of potatoes. We had we had so many potatoes because Kate Muller, 10 pound bags of potatoes for a dollar each. So we had like 150 potatoes and it cost us like four dollars. So um, onion, jello mix, and lots of canned veggies. And that's in every one of these bags. They're pretty heavy. It's a lot awesome. of stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I hold a couple of them. That's great. Um, thank you for organizing this. It's been kind of a long day. Um, yeah, we'll do some, better next year. Some I want to do 200 baskets next year. 200 baskets? Yeah, well at first okay. I was like, let's double it, but now I'm like, no, 200. And there are going to be people looking to you for advice on how to start up their own in other areas. I know uh, Glenn uh, Eldritch is interested in getting some something like this going, so he's going to be looking for tips. Uh, any advice for him right off the bat? Well, you're lucky if you have a big network of activists that can make donations and volunteer their time. Um, so that's important. I know that if you're not doing it with a network of friends, it's a lot harder. And then, but to find the families, I just contacted private charities. I didn't go to like the welfare office. Um, and there are actually, I mean, we're not the only people in the state doing this today. We're the only people doing it under the name Basket Brigade in the state. Um, but there are, like, the, I got these addresses from groups that are giving Thanksgiving baskets to families and couldn't cover all their bases. So, Great. so it's and pretty simple. You just, if you, you could look into like, what kind of agency is providing these baskets and then call them and say, I want to do it too. So I don't, I got lucky because okay. the one agency was suggested to me on Facebook. The other agency I found through a free stater. So I just got lucky. Well, you didn't get lucky. You did a lot of work. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so uh, it's been a long and kind of tiring day and we're winding down. And, Need some uh, coffee. 
You feeling happy about it? Yeah, it went really well. I think the best part was um, the old folks home at, at the end here, the senior housing. Because um, they were like uh, the most excited, I think, to get them. They were like really happy and thank you, thank you. And the other people all, all looked really confused. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, there was a bit of a language barrier, I guess. <laughs> Definitely, cool. yeah. Cool. Uh, so. Great. Thank you very much for doing it. Appreciate it. And uh, all in memory well, of thanks. Dad. Thanks for all the That's donations really and the volunteer hours. And, you know, I all I did was make some Excel spreadsheets and make some phone calls and post some stuff on Facebook. I didn't put a dime into this. I can't. Frankly, I qualify for a basket. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I really do. But it wouldn't have it wouldn't work out like this if it wasn't for the hundreds of people that I know as a free stater. Well, organizing is a big job, so thank you. Thanks. Are you tired of looking at Ridley? Then stop looking. Start listening. He can't annoy your eye if he only reaches your ear. The way out is clear. It's the Ridley Report audio podcast. RidleyReport.podomatic dot com